Hi, this is Ruben Lerner, and I'm back with another screencast describing how to use the NetLogo Modeling Commons, a website that lets you share your NetLogo models with the world and also collaboratively work on models uh, with other people. This time I want to show you how to upload a model to the Modeling Commons. Uh, now, in order to do that, you'll need a Modeling Commons account. That's to say, you need to have already registered and logged in. You can see I'm logged in here as my Ruben NU account. Um, but that's not enough. You're also going to need a copy of NetLogo. And if you don't already have a copy of NetLogo, then you can download it from the website. I'll give you the URL here. That's ccl.northwestern.edu slash NetLogo. Um, I'm going to be running here the RC6 version of NetLogo 5. NetLogo 5 is about to be released as of the recording of this screencast. And uh, I'm using a slightly old release candidate, RC6, just to demonstrate how this works. So I go into NetLogo and I create a model. Let's create the simplest possible model. So I create here, and it's going to be uh, Okay, I'm going to call this setup. And I'll create a second button, and we'll call this go, and it'll be a turtle button forever, and we'll say fd random pen, and then RT random 180. Okay, let's try this model setup. And ah, here we go, walking all over the place. Okay, very exciting model. So now I'm going to save this model. Now here's the thing I have to save the model to my computer on the disk somewhere. So I'm going to call this uh, Turtle Walker. And I'm going to save it. And I'm saving it ex exactly as if I were to save any old NetLogo model on my computer. I can put in whatever folder I want, I can call it whatever I want. Now I go back to the website, to the modeling comments, and I say I want to add a model. And it's going to ask me, OK, what do I want to call that? I'm going to call it, what did I call it before? Turtle Walker. Turtle Walker. And now I'm going to tell it what file I want to upload. So I have to tell it, oh, on my desktop, there's a file named Turtle Walker. I choose this. Now I can, if I want to, upload a preview image as well. There are different ways to create preview images. I'm not going to go into that right now. If you have one, then great. If not, then don't worry about it. Also, uh, we can set permissions, but we're not about to uh, set permissions at this point. Okay, so I'm just going to upload the model. Okay, great. Now we have a model, and our model has its own page now. In fact, I can go click on the Turtle Walker Models page, and here we have it. Now, where is the model? Well, I can look at the Info tab, or the Code tab, but those are both pretty much empty or standard. But if I go to the Run tab, click here to run the model. It takes a few moments always to load the Java backend for applets. It knows what version of NetLogo I was using. I can click on Setup and click on Go. And this looks exactly like the model that I had on my desktop because it is the same model that I have on my desktop. It's just running now inside of a web browser. Now, let's go back to NetLogo and say, let's say I've come up with a fabulous addition, a change to this model. Now, watch this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this button here. And I'm going to say, Let's say I'm putting the pen down so the turtles will draw after themselves. Now if I set up and go, you'll see they're all drawing after themselves. So I saved this on the desktop. I now have a new version of my model. And now I want to upload this new version to the modeling comments. Well, that's OK. I go back here. I click on the Upload tab. Now, why am I allowed to upload this? Because I've said that it's visible to everyone and changeable by everyone. So actually, anyone in the modeling comments can go and change this uh, and upload a new version. If I want to, I can restrict those permissions by saying, no, just me. I'm the only one. Okay, now I'm the only one who can see this model, and I'm the only one who can change it. The author of a model can always change things. So you never have to worry that someone can take permissions away from you as the author of the model. And now I'm going to upload a new version. And my model file is, well, here we go. It's the one that I just did. Here's a short comment. Now with pens. And it's going to replace the existing model. That is to say, we have a new version of that model. Okay, and here we go. Now, if I go to Run, click, Set Up, Go, and here you can see with pens. Now, if you want to go back to the old version, you can see we can go to History here, and we have the two different versions. I have the original version, and I have the older version. If I want to go back to the older version, I can just revert. I can click on Revert, and then the... Let's try that. Okay, and now if I run, click, Set up, go. You can see it no longer has the pens. 
Okay? And now we have three versions. We have the original version, we have the one with pens, and then we reverted to the older version. You can see how this means you can create new models all the time, you can try new things, you can add new features, you don't have to be afraid because you can always go back to an older version. You're never going to destroy uh, anything. Uh, you always have backups. Anyway, that about does it for this screencast describing how you can upload uh, new models to the modeling commons. The one thing that I want to remind you is that if you say that it's visible to the whole world, to everyone, well, that's going to be just great because anyone, even someone who is not logged into Modeling Commons, will be able to see your model and enjoy it. Uh, and if they're registered and logged in, then they can also participate in the discussion and tell you what they think and perhaps even offer suggestions for how it can be even better. Thanks very much for watching. I want to remind you that if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or bug reports re regarding the Modeling Commons, you're always welcome to email me. My email address is reuven at learner.co.il and I welcome your comments.